Objection? There appears to be none. Uh, uh, leave it so granted. I call on government order of the day number one. Social housing reform, housing restructuring and tenancy matters amendment bill committee stage continued. I declare the Housing Committee for further <coughs> consideration of the Social Housing Reform, Housing Restructuring and Tenancy Matters Amendment Bill. Mr Speaker. Mr Chairman. Good afternoon, honourable members. Kia ora tātou, nō reira te whare, e nga iwi, e nga rio, e nga hawe whā tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Kia ora. And kei te pai. Honourable members, the House is in committee for further consideration of the social housing reform, housing restructuring and tenancy matters amendment bill. I understand that when we were last considering this bill, uh, we were speaking to part one, and the honourable member Phil Twyford has the call and has three minutes and one second remaining. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā koe. Um, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted in, in the earlier debate, um, uh, I want to focus comments on uh, new section 57AA in clause 12 of part one, which confers on Housing New Zealand the power to impose what the Minister describes as reviewable tenancies. I prefer to think of it more as extending insecurity of tenure to all Housing New Zealand tenants, sir. And that uh, provision, while it is also included in part two of the bill, uh, is dealt with in part one. It gives Housing New Zealand the power to, uh, to extend insecurity of tenure to all of its tenants uh, from the day after royal assent, sir. And, and that is that this provision is at the heart of Labor's opposition to this bill. And I want to, um, I want to refer to a number of what we believe will be harmful consequences uh, of this policy, which is one, of the, it's one of the main provisions in this bill to extend reviewable tenancies to all housing New Zealand tenants. Um, I want to point the, the House to the Social Housing Outcomes uh, Worth study, which looked at the relationship between housing conditions and hospitalisation rates in a very large cohort of Housing New Zealand tenants. What the study found was that secure housing was extremely important to the people who live in state houses and, in fact, as a result of the security of tenure that they had as a result of being Housing New Zealand tenants, they had markedly lower hospitalisation rates than people who were on, this, on the state housing list uh, um, uh, for most health conditions, uh, including mental health, sir. And this was the basis of the submission that Herr Kai Oranga, the Otago University's uh, Housing and Health Programme, made to the Select Committee that by extending uh, insecurity of tenure to all state house tenants, you would in fact be severely undermining the health status of those people. I also want to refer to the, um, the study by Regional um, Public Health about the, uh, the movement of people out of the Pōmare uh, uh, housing New Zealand community, it, um, a development project that was grossly mishandled under this government by Housing New Zealand. And I noticed that the minister the other day turned up with the cameras, as he does about every two days uh, at the moment, to, uh, have, to film him turning the first sod of the new mixed development at Pōmare. Well, regional public health found that the, uh, the involuntary eviction of Housing New Zealand tenants out of that community uh, had many negative health and social impacts on those people. They found that social ties are, are in many cases geographic, forcing people out of their homes, threatens the emotional support provided by neighbours, it affects access to health care, that supportive, stable communities help mitigate socio-economic disadvantage by providing all kinds of resources that people get from being part of a stable community. 
that forced housing relocation involves um, often moving kids out of schools, and that has a negative effect on uh, children's educational achievement. Um, housing insecurity of the very kind that National is proposing to impose on all 69,000 uh, State House tenants. Mr Speaker. Mr. 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 Speaker. Mr Chairman. I Mr. call Chairman. the Honourable Minister Nick Smith. Mr Chairman, I firstly want to say that that member's comments about Pamari really does highlight the contrast between the government's view of...